two families are experiencing life at opposite ends of the wealth divide. One that sacrifices family time as they work towards a financially better future. Our food bills tend to be around £300 a week. The other that's forfeiting a career to be there for their children. They've swapped homes, budgets and lives to find the true value of family. <laughs> this is insane! Have fun! Having taken over the Wegarek's busy schedule, in Essex, the Barter Boys have another organised activity. Today is a private swimming lesson. So, you two are going to see if you can sit on the bottom of the swimming pool and blow lots and lots of bubbles. Swapping lives also means swapping jobs. And back at the house, Jade's getting ready to replace Marina as MD of her company. So the house is nice and quiet and give me a bit of time to let the nerves sink in with my meeting with Phil this morning. Hi, Phil. Hi, Jade. When I'm in work mode, it's great. For me, I really miss that. The only thing holding me back now is at what cost. And that family time for me, isn't a sacrifice that will make up for that house, to make up for that future. Marina's business development manager, Phil, has come for his weekly catch-up. So what exactly does the business entail? Um, so basically, Marina set the business up earlier this year, um, and it's along the lines of healthy snacking. But previous to that, she was you know, really successful in, in the banking and the, the financial sector. Um, but obviously, she left that all behind. I think it really shows her determination. She can achieve anything that she puts her mind to and she really believes in herself and that's really nice to see. Yeah, and I think she'll sacrifice a lot of, of you know, things just to make that work as well and that's why she's working, you know, 24-7, basically, yeah. to, to make that dream happen. I just think, really, we are different stages in life. However, I definitely look up to her, look up to her drive, her ambition and how she uses her children in their life and their situation they're in to really want to better that quality of life for them. Over in Essex, Marina's been thinking of ways she might be able to help the Barters. Hi, I'm Marina. Nice to meet you, I'm Jess. So, nice to meet you, looking Jess. for advice, she's visiting Jade's friends and previous employer where she worked in the accounts team. How long have you known Jade for? Uh, since 2016. She contacted me and said actually she was looking for a job and wanted to expand herself. Yeah. You know, we took a risk with Jade uh, originally because she never had the qualifications or the experience. Okay. Um, and for me, it was about the personality. It was about the person I could put my trust in, you know, allow to manage our books and help me run the business that was growing. Um, and, you know, she fulfilled every part of that. I think, I guess, she had this ambition and the abilities, everything that she needed to kind of get into the role, I guess. After three years here, Jade left this well-paid job and an opportunity to advance a career to go part-time. If she was asked, what do you think would change your life? What do you think she will answer? She'd probably say <clears throat> to earn enough money to get, get them out of that sort of area and, and the house. <clears throat> but I think her main focus is trying to give the children what she didn't have as a child and appreciate all the things of them growing up. So she's just constantly in a battle between herself. So it's a constant yeah, juggle. Especially for someone like me who's always had my parents as a pillar of strength. And for somebody to grow up not, not having the greatest relationship, sometimes we don't realise how lucky we are just to have that parents. And, and I can see what she and I think Dean is trying to do now is to kind of give the children everything that they didn't have. Because of what she experienced as a child, Jade is so focused on the present. But for me, I just realised, you know what, I'm so focused on the future that I've forgotten the present. I am there for the children all the time, but the difference is I'm physically present and sometimes I'm not mentally present. I'd love to probably take a step back, and I hope I can do that in the future. But right now, it doesn't look like it. In Surrey, the barters still have over £800 left in the budget. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. 
And as they usually can't afford to buy new toys for the children, today they're going on a shopping spree. Do you want to dig or a jumper truck? Dig uh, ups. The kids are absolutely buzzing this morning. I think we're all a very happy family this morning. I've never been able to do this in a toy shop, so having all this money and doing this is really nice. Yeah. Zach's just gone round and picked up five things, each worth £20. That's £100 normally. We would barely get that on a birthday. For the children's birthdays, Jade and Dean are usually forced to buy presents using money skimmed off their weekly food budget. What do you want to buy? This! And with two of the boys' birthdays coming up, today's shop is much more than just a fun day out. I really would like to just take a lot of strain and pressure off of Dean. I'm really not bothered about the price tag. Because it's all in itself. Do you want to go and want to see what they're stacking up? Then you'll be worried about the price tag. He works 50 hour weeks and he will sacrifice sleep for family time. But I know deep down he still doesn't think he works hard enough. That's 592.71. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Say thank you, say bye. If you need help, Farrell. Right. But the joy of buying presents for the kids has worn off. That feeling was worse for me than it normally is. Jade's feeling overwhelmed after spending their monthly income on toys. So you were more excited than the kids were? I was excited <laughs> to take the pressure away from you. Mm. I was excited for you not to worry and feel like you're letting us all down. <laughs> They've lived each other's lives. Now, for a chance to talk. They loved playing with the catapult and oh, the good. garden. Yeah. It was just really, really stunning. And I had fun with you. <laughs> I had fun. I was jumping up and down when I, when I see your touch screen oh. Bob. I was over the moon. <laughs> I was jumping up and down as well, but for a very different reason. <laughs> I was like, one, and is that that? There's eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So we now know how, how you operate your kitchen. I can't believe that you really embraced it and to live how we did, you know, and to understand how difficult that was. We discovered uh, how much budget you had to live on each week, and I was totally blown away. I don't know whether you've considered your work options. I see a lot of the strength that you have actually in me, and I love applying that. But I'm just so, right now, where I've worked with have all been so little for so long, and Farrell, I don't even, I never saw Farrell grow up. No. and I put everything into work, and now I'm a little bit resentful because I know I can do that, and I really just want my babies. I want nothing else. <laughs> Once they're all in sort of mainstream school, I'm ready to go then, and I'm gonna throw everything at it. I'm sure you can do that. And when it comes to, you know, career, when you are ready to kind of get back in and explore, I'd love to be your mentor and guide, and I'd love to kind of offer to be able to open the network so that you might be able to get onto the property ladder so that you don't have to stress about increasing rent and things that you're not in control. Marina and Shemek trying to help us get onto the property ladder and just giving us a chance in life that nobody else has. Oh, that is so thank generous. You. Thank you so much. When it comes to the kids, Marina is taking something away from the week too. Whilst I'm physically present with them, there are moments sometimes I'm not mentally present, so I will make sure I take a break to stop as well. Having learnt the value of family, the time has come to return to reality. So it was very, very lovely meeting you both. You're both an inspiration to us. I am so thrilled and grateful for this new friendship and we're really looking forward to seeing so much more of the barters in our future.